Oh, we got a caller from, oh, really early in the morning. Good morning, John, from Philadelphia. How are you doing? Good morning, Larry. Uh, good uh, start to the week to you. Uh, and I ask you the question, have you migrated back to Arizona yet? Yes, I'm in the home abode just in time for the rainy season. We got a good two-inch rain the other day. It actually had the water in the Rito River running, which is very rare. So it's very nice now. It's 85 degrees, and it's going to be a little bit, a um, little bit muggy today, but rain tonight. Excellent, excellent, Larry. I am uh, calling in early to ask uh, a question. Ask for your help, please, in trading the Nasdaq futures indices. Uh, because I've made an observation that dovetails with what uh, you shared with us back in March, uh, courtesy of Jim Bartolioni, when back at that time he had assessed the uh, NASDAQ composite index with the high it made, 76.37, I think was the exact high March 13th, and how that was a FIB uh, expansion level on the long-term charts. I observed uh, last week the NASDAQ 100 is just doing the same thing as of uh, last Thursday. And I'm uh, thinking to myself that's a candidate for a turning point of uh, end of a rally sort of thing. I'm wondering if you can um, uh, go into that with more detail. And I ask for your assistance on trading tactics, how to handle that, please. Well. I tell you, I can't go into any more detail than what Jim does because, you know, he does such extensive, you know, uh, sacred science and sacred number work uh, that it, it just way over my pay grade. But he is really all I can do is I can share with you what the NASDAQ chart looks like on the daily. Now, this is uh, going back over the last five months, but you can see here on this chart that and this isn't nearly as mathematically accurate as the one that uh, – you know, Jim was doing because he was doing all kinds of sacred ratios that uh, you know, that most people don't understand, including the the person that's speaking right now. But if you look at just the simple A B C D structure here, you'll see we have two really large ones from the February low to the April low, that measured up there to that same number you were just chatting about, and then we had another one between the May and June that they both came to the same area. And this is much stronger. But remember, when you're looking at this NASDAQ, John, you've got to realize that's 100 stocks. And believe me, with 15 of those 100, you can control that thing because it is uh, cap weighted. And when you're looking at Microsoft and Apple and Google and these high price things, uh, I mean, my goodness, uh, they can control the whole thing because uh, it, it's really a two tier market. We're seeing one market like the Dow Jones and the New York Stock Exchange Index nowhere near new highs. It's only making 61 percent retracement. And yet with the NASDAQ, you're seeing the market making new highs. So it's, they're totally different markets. It's like comparing apples and pineapples. They're just, uh, they're totally different fruits. Yeah, very good. Um, uh, thank you on that. Uh, just uh, in the for what it's worth department for your audience in uh, the Tiger's Den, I posted uh, the quarterly charts for the composite and the 100. The former is essentially my, uh, my uh, construction of the chart uh, you showed of Jim Bartolioni's back in March. And then, of course, I complement that with the 100 quarterly chart. And, um, uh, you know, you have taught me over the years how from time to time markets respond with uh, what I call unbelievable precision to those uh, Fibonacci mathematical ratios. So I just can't help but stand up and take notice and ask myself uh, the question, that high that uh, occurred last Thursday in the, the, uh, the NASDAQ futures, uh, if that couldn't possibly be something important. So, uh, so thanks so much for your input. And uh, I have to tell you, you're bringing people like Jim Bartolioni to us. Uh, that's terrific as well. So thanks again. Well, thank you, John. I appreciate it. We've got somebody else really important this week. Well, everybody's important, but somebody new.